the the opening of the Talks Barcelona at 7. And now uh, we have uh, people from the UEPF University. We have a web doc in process and two people who are going to introduce it to us. Neo Bayus, uh, script ri screenwriter and film director at the Butte Feature, The Plague. It, it will premiere at the 63rd edition of the Berlinale. It won four Gaudi Awards in 2013, Best Movie, Best Director, Best Screenplay, and Best Editing, and was nominated for the Lux Awards, the European Film Awards, and the Goya Awards. And now she is uh, preparing her second uh, feature and is working an, on Amtitul, her first web doc. Uh, Joachim Colas is IT engineer and researcher at the University of Pompeu Fabra's Interactive Technologies Group, where he is doing his doctorate in interactive narrative and where he teaches the same subject and, and participates project about interaction between humans and computers as an expert in user experience design. He is co-founder of the ICT company Alchemia IO and he also creates web comics and illustrations in the fields of digital narrative and uh, creativity. Uh, we are going uh, to give them the floor, Neus and Joachim, a uh, round of applause for them. Buenas tardes, gracias por invitarnos. Thank you for inviting us. As Arnau has said, uh, we are in the midst of uh, pr our production, so it's difficult to show many things uh, while you are cooking them because they are not finished and they, can, they might uh, get a wrong impression. I'm going to tell you about the project. Uh, over a year ago, I got the proposal from the Pompeu Fabra University to, uh, had to direct a uh, web doc. Uh, some of the people at the university thinking then this year, the university turned 25, started wondering what had happened with all the people that uh, had been at the university, uh, worked at the university at some point, uh, what happened with the, the students, what do they do, do they work, um, do they have a family, how do they remember their university experience the feeling that they have lost a trace of those people and they would like to find out what had happened to them, what had become of them. So we got that proposal with all these questions and a very important research project to carry out. And within the project, we also... At our, had at our disposal all kinds of resources in terms of knowledge. Uh, a, a team of the mas uh, documentation masters uh, got to work, professionals and teachers and professors, both of the communication, School of Communication and IT. And this group, the whole group, started to think about this future project with the subject of the former university students. And so we decided to take it out a little bit of the context of the university because we thought that anybody who has been at college, even uh, people who had not the opportunity to go to college, might be interested to know in knowing find what what is the role of public universities in society, if people that go to those universities actually uh, f uh, make their dreams come true, do they find their calling in the classroom? Uh, going to college is is it actually a way to discover new things or? Uh, have you found the love of your life at university, for example? It's a period in life. Uh, what what kind of results? Uh, could it have? So we took it out of the context of the, our university and we decided to give it a much more general approach. Since I come from the world of cinema, I, understand, I, I see it very clearly what it is about interactivity, but when there, there is a possibility to, for, for such a hybrid language, it's very difficult to find references for me that have the uh, cinema language as their starting point. So we started to look for the main characters. We found so many people and we asked them uh, to tell us about three specific points in their life, moments in their life. First of all, the time before university, when they were 17, 18 years of age, when you are at high school, senior high school, and you 
and you th- start thinking, what are you going to do with your life? It's like a mantra. Well, I don't know what I'm going to study or what am I going to do? What are you going to do with your life? And this is a nightmare. And, and many people uh, have many versions of that same story and people have different expectations and make very different decisions. So they tell us about this moment in time, they tell us about their time at university, what have they studied, where have they studied, uh, master's degrees and doctorate uh, studies, uh, all of this is university, and what they remember about that, uh, what, the feel- what the feelings they had, uh, did, did the university change their lives, what were they like at the time, and finally... After university, what happens after university? It is where we are now, right? Uh, the descriptive uh, arena, no? Where when we know what people are doing with their lives, where they live, to, are they happy? Are they satisfied with their lives? But it's also very subjective because you assess, you look back, and you uh, assess that time in your life. How has it? How? It changed your life, if it did change your life. After this uh, long research period with uh, a number of uh, former students, we uh, selected uh, some stories uh, for more or less 30 units with a planned itinerary and the user, the user makes decisions about what they want to see, what they want to watch. This is what took uh, longest because, uh, you know, shooting, you know, take a lot of effort. But at the same time, we have been designing a participatory part so that users at some at a certain point in time can participate and tell us about their experience, how they would improve uh, some things about the university, even enter d- discussions or tell us about in more uh, emotional terms what they experience at college. As I was saying earlier in terms of production, two days ago we finished uh, the shooting, we are now editing. Uh, the the footage and it will be the premiere will be in November on November fourth. For us, it's not a very long period of time. It's actually a very tight schedule that lays ahead of us, and we have created a small uh, trailer so that you can look at the different uh, the the browsing and other pieces that already are. Uh, edit it and so that uh, you can have an idea of this particular experiences and my colleague Kim will show you those uh, pieces hello as Neus has said this documentary that we are that we are showing here it's a result of the cooperation between many people and I represent this very heterogeneous a team, the people that are coming out of a university, it's multidisciplinary because there are people from technologies, people from communication, uh, digital arts, and we are a group of uh, IT people who are interested in art and artists uh, that are very interested in new digital technologies. And this is a combination of people with this result. And in the spirit is also reflected in the process that we worked on from day one. We always said that we did not want uh, a linear documentary, which sometimes affects uh, the production of web docs if you create a classical kind of material on the on the one side and then you have a group of designers on the other hand that uh, invent an interaction. No, we all have participated in all the phases of the project and our collaboration uh, collaboration has been very contributive. We all have been doing everything and all participated in all the decision making. We're going to present the model, the trailer, which has been done last minute, and it doesn't uh, show the contribution, but it shows uh, the classical part of it, the exploration part. 
And I think it's very interesting to relate it to what you have seen in other presentations about uh, the meaning of doing something which is not linear. It's better to see an example. The idea was that the browsing uh, should be parallel uh, to uh, the, the creation of one of the many uh, possible things that you can experience at university, many Factors have to be taken into account. The idea to start to begin with is the idea of having uh, three different uh, views, and when you at the time when you begin a uh, university, having a very clear calling, for example. Uh, For example, he wanted to study IT because he wanted to, to tell stories and to create games uh, for people or, uh, or just uh, choosing something to study because it's useful and you're going to have good opportunities. Or the others who say, I'm still too lost, I'm too young to know what I want to do with my life. And... This is very interesting because you you can better understand people's experiences. Let's look at this first. Uh, the content of the web doc is in several uh, languages. Some people speak Catalan, some people speak Spanish. The final version uh, will be better produced because we haven't been able to process the audio track. It will be also in English. This is a two-minute uh, piece for now that we can show you. I think that at uh, 17, 18, nobody is really prepared to know what they want to do with their lives. I don't think so. You still live with your parents, usually. You still have a small world with your parents, with uh, your classmates. You don't have much experience. You're not very mature to make decisions about what you want to study, what you want to be. I was very responsible, I had very good grades, uh, uh, very good grades, A, straight A's actually, but I was uh, very, very immature. Yes, I was, I am here looking at the classrooms. I, I haven't been to my high school for 20 years. And it's the same. It looks exactly the same. Uh, the walls and the structure, the paintings. But I have changed so much. But everything is looks the same. It looks the same. Yeah, so we're a little older. But this is what we did when we were in senior high school. Yes, uh, my parents lived next door, literally next door, imagine. Maybe uh, a couple of micro microscopes we have bought. We're still poor, but not as poor as we used to be. I, uh, I liked some things back then. I liked to read, to write. Uh, I, lo I loved art. And uh, this is what finally helped me decide what I wanted to do. But it was very vague. I remember when I started college, is the feeling that everything is too big for you. Uh, a certain anguish, because you're going, you're having, you have five years in front of you that you don't know whether you're going to like it or not, what you're going to do afterwards. It's a, a source of anguish. This is the first piece about uh, choosing your way in life, your path in life. And uh, this is... Uh, This is what uh, helps you start uh, browsing, like in many other interactive uh, documentaries. It's, um, but this is not uh, completely linear or completely random either. You can establish a theme connection between the piece that you have just seen that has uh, probably arisen some issues and uh, thinking, start to think about uh, university and feeling like you are very immature, not knowing what you want to do, what you're going to do this or that for. And 
and then how to continue. with the two perspectives of two people, a person who says, I never had opened a newspaper in my life, I never had been worried or concerned about the outer world. I was in my second year and finally I understood what my what my calling was. Uh, this uh, really is when I understood uh, what I wanted to do. So we can browse through different pieces but with a new theme connection. So each piece is a different kind of discourse. And from there on, the same thing. This is just a, a, a first version and what we would choose between uh, new pieces and uh, elaborating a discourse. Every time you navigate, could, it could be a different or a new discourse. A couple of things to add here. One is that we've also considered the inclusion of uh, a complement, which would be... Uh, cards of a certain character because what we want is not a biopic of 30 people but rather use these 30 capsules every character has one or two videos at most to use them as uh, parts of these changing discourses that could be elaborated as different puzzles and it's also very interesting these uh, videos uh, lead us to think what whatever happened to this person you know uh, I wonder what this person is doing now. And these cards uh, help you stop the navigation and learn a little more and learn how this girl, Clara, was born and lives in Barcelona. Now she works as a tourist guide. Uh, or this guy, Paul Sanchez, uh, was born in South Africa and is now working as a journalist in Tel Aviv. Very interesting to stop and, and look a little further in each one's lives. Also, um, we have the navigation part, which is uh, monodirectional, including something else, which is what we're seeing here, the, the tree, although I don't like to call it like a tree because it's uh, like a network of connected concepts where the person, the user, will be able to see what uh, roads uh, they've drawn and they will be able to uh, do it again or do... Uh, go back and, and, and start new roads. The duration of the, of the road is very variable. Uh, there are always points in a network where you can connect back to our sto uh, another story. If our story has been too short, we can connect to another one and therefore make it longer. Also, we have the, what Neo said, the second large 
part of this interactive document, the contributive spaces, as we call them, which we think has more uh, uh, innovation. The idea is that it shouldn't be a unidirectional channel. It should rather have this uh, willingness of uh, describing something. But on the other hand, we should also be able to express turning the documentary into a platform for those people who've had common visions, everyone has had an experience in university or, you know, that we all have common experiences and just a way of expressing them. We uh, thought of a variety of uh, contributive spaces. We're thinking of uh, showing them as something within the documentary and from the reflection that uh, different uh, parts generate, then that will generate questions in the viewer that the viewer can answer to and share with the other visitors, and that would create a platform for all those who have lived this experience. Some examples could be traditional and easy things like when you speak of the labor market, doing a survey, or when there's a debate, like the role of public university, uh, letting people write. And we also more, want more sensitive experiences like uh, uh, the feeling you have when you get there the first day, the friendships you make in university with the use of images of those years or sharing music and always thought of something integrated in social networks because nowadays you cannot pretend that your product will be a sub-platform where people will go in just because you have to connect to this network that's pre-existing. So we want people to participate through tweets or sharing images that they already had uploaded in their network screening, like an ecosystem giving the idea that this documentary is a pace for description and reflection and emotion and sharing your life. And now, now so we'll finish with a few last words. Here is now saying, finish, finish. Um, no, I just wanted to say that this is like the appetizer of what we would like to uh, do next year. If Arnau invites us again, we'd like to do an interactive screening so that you could see it and participate in the project as well. These three spheres that are the axis of the project, on the one hand, it wants to be descriptive. We have done a selection of experiences that pretend to give an idea of the variety of experiences we can have. It's not self-complacency at all. There are also successful stories, others not so successful. It also wants to be emotional. It wants everyone to feel recognized with the person who said they didn't know what to do when they were teenagers. They didn't know what they wanted to do with their lives. We've all been there, haven't we? And finally, it wants to be a tool for reflection. The idea is that a public university, in this case, a Pompeu Fabra University, is committed to launching a tool that uh, everyone should use so that we think together what kind of public university we want, what is going well, what is not going well, and uh, the role it's playing in current society. In terms of production, it's the only one, the only source of finance uh, we have is the university itself. And here I'm uh, sending a message to 2v3. We are waiting, uh, waiting uh, expectedly the uh, decision, and I hope they join in. Thank you, that's all. Thank you for your patience. If you have questions, we can cover them later. Thank you. Very good.